everybody. Um, hope you're all having a great day. Um, today we're going to continue the Leatherman Signal Series Gear Runner Edition multi-tool um, review and test. So uh, today I'm going to show you a few ways to make fire using this fair seam rod. So one thing I always carry with me in my bug out bags and stuff like that is um, petroleum jelly cotton balls. Um, I don't know if you've all ever seen this before. I'm sure some of you have, some of you may not. This is great fire tender right here. Now it's a little messy to make, so I use gloves whenever I do it. Um, one thing I do also do, I believe I've seen James Jaeger do this, is I use um, aluminum foil to actually put the cotton balls in. So what you do is, you just take a cotton ball out of the bag, and I'm sorry the wind's blowing. I've had to do these videos outside for the reviews of them, and the wind is just not cooperating with me right now, or any of the videos for that matter, because I've done all these on the same day. So I'm sorry if the wind's blowing through the camera and making me not sound as good, but um, it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about that. So just get some petroleum jelly. Um, tear you off a piece of aluminum foil, about like so. I'm about to hold this in my lap so the wind don't blow it away. Now I'm going to put on gloves. Um, you don't have to. This is just so that I don't get this all over me. And then I'm fixing to go show you how to how to use the fair seam rod. And then Rob's multi-tool has uh, petroleum jelly all over it. So we don't want to send him that. So just what you do is you just, you know, take some petroleum jelly, just get it all over it and just roll the cotton ball in it. I mean, you just want to get it all over the cotton ball. You want it just just embedded in the cotton ball. I mean, just as slimy as you can get it. And essentially what you're doing is almost making a candle. Um, Cause this stuff will burn quite a while once you get it infused with this petroleum jelly. Then what I do is I just stick it in the center of this aluminum foil and then fold it over each corner like so. And then I flatten them out and look how little bit of space that takes up in a bug out bag now i usually stick these in a ziploc bag because hey they've got you know um petroleum jelly all over them so just to keep my my um bug out bag a little bit cleaner i'll actually stick them in um a ziploc bag so let's do one more well two more came out but i don't want to do two more i don't know if we'll need to um so we'll just do another one. Smear petroleum jelly all over it, just the same way as you did before. Um, just really infuse the cotton ball with the uh, petroleum jelly, like so. Really get it in there. Take your piece of aluminum foil, fold it over, smush it down, and there you have it. So next, I'm gonna take the gloves off and then show you how to use the fair seam rod to uh, to light these. So first, let me show you how to take that out. If you missed the other video, um, I'll show you how to take the fair seam rod out. You actually, there's a lock right here. You have to push up on it, open the multi-tool up. There's a little metal piece right here that you pull up on and the fair seam rod comes out the bottom. So I'm gonna shut this back and relock it um, because we are actually gonna use probably the back of the saw because it looks like it's a good 90 degree angle to uh to light this fair seam rod so i'm actually going to take you over to the fire pit now and set the camera up and show you how to light this as you can see here my fire pit's been used so you know it, it is kind of dirty it is cleaned out as you can see but it is rusty before i've used it these are some of the uh the feather sticks we made in yesterday's video, if you missed that, I'll link it to the end. But here's some feather sticks we used. Here's a little bird's nest that um, we made just as fire um, tender. Also, we'll go over here and get the little, um, the little um, cotton ball we just made. Now to use these, you wanna open them up a little bit, like so. And then what you wanna do is, this is gonna be messy. You just kinda pull this up and get some of it stuck up, you know, just kind of fray it out. You kind of want to get this as, as fine as you can sticking up, um, just some little fine pieces. 
like so. Just just get some fine pieces sticking up. Now I wish I would have brought um, something to wipe my hands off with. I'll be right back. Okay, you probably ain't gonna have the uh, the luxury to go inside and get a uh, you know a napkin if you get this all over your hands, but fortunately I did. Now this fair seam rod has never been struck. You can see it still has the black on it. Um, you got to get that off to get it to strike. So you can see right there, that thing threw a good spark. So get this down close to it right here, and that's all it took. That thing lit right up. Now you can actually take this and put this on it like so and get that started burning. You can get your, get your little um, bird's nest burning. You can also take your um, feather sticks, add those to it if you want to, or either or. This is pretty um, green wood, so it might not want to light as good as you'd hoped it would. But um, but as you can see, we have fire. So uh, that right there will actually burn for quite a while. Um, that can't that piece of cotton will probably burn you know four or five minutes or longer and that gives you plenty of time to get a fire going and this is a good basis for a good fire um now we got this going we could add small kindling to it um get the fire bigger and then work your way up to a lot larger size wood and get your fire really going um hope you like this video i hope it kind of helped you learn something there some of y'all may not knew the cotton ball trick You've seen how easy it was to light with that fair seam rod and how easy it was to strike that fair seam rod. Um, that is the biggest thing I really like about this multi-tool and I can't stress that enough is that I have the, uh, the ability to make fire with it. That is awesome that Leatherman included that in that um, multi-tool. Um, like I said, you've seen how easy that was. I even had my wife out here doing this one day. Um, I tried to teach her some survival skills and some stuff like that. So if she's ever in a situation where she needs to use it, she kind of knows how to do it. So I actually had her making these cotton balls one day by her, you know, I showed her how to do it, but I made her make her own. And then I brought her out here and made her use a fair seam rod to actually um, start an on fire. And she couldn't believe how easy it was and she could do it and you can do it too. Um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please like, share and subscribe. And uh, hope you learned something today, a little, a little trick that I use and I carry these things all the time. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next time.